Welcome to Down at the Barns, following the story of people and their love of classic cars, everything from restoration to electric conversion. Please subscribe to our channel in the link below. This is Bob and his 1975 Mark I Silver Shadow. It has a V8 Rolls-Royce engine and he really is the man about town in this eye-catching classic. The Silver Shadow Mark I was produced between 1965 and 1976. A distinctive feature of these cars was the high-pressure hydro-pneumatic suspension system licensed from Citroen, giving the car a high degree of ride quality. A two-door version was introduced in 1966 followed by a convertible in 1967. So Bob, this was your dream car when you were a young man, wasn't it? Yes, yes. So was it this particular model or was it any Rolls Royce? This particular model and it had to be a Mark I. Right, okay, yeah. why? Because of all the chrome, on the Mark II they had plastic bumpers and bits and bobs, uh, but on the Mark I's it was all the chrome and um, stainless steel and they, they really look really the business you know yeah so is this your daily driver so you are you at tesco's with this filling it up or what what's the situation yeah we go to tesco's uh, once a week uh and if she wants topping up i'll top her up as well so right. it's a dual job you know? yeah and are, are you sort of person likes to park your car far away from everybody else as possible oh no no i'll take <laughs> up two bays <laughs> <laughs> Do you find that someone always parks right up close to your car? Uh, yeah, some of them are a bit annoying. Yeah, and uh, you got to watch people open their doors and banging your side of your car. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but and, and how do people treat you with a Rolls Royce? You know, are they, are they, oh, they, they let you go or what? Are they a bit jealous? Yeah, well, some some people take exception to it, I suppose, thinking you know you're well off your bloody way, but uh, others sort of um, give you the go ahead to come out and uh, you know get on your way so yeah in general the, the public are pretty good yeah yeah well Bob it's a lovely car it really is so tell us what you've done since you've had the car uh, we stripped all the brakes out put all new lot, lot of brakes on her yeah uh, and now she's perfect because it was a wedding car wasn't it yeah oh yeah the guy yeah Swindon up in Swindon um, and he brought it down and I bought it straight away because I'd seen it on, on the pictures, you know, and I just bought it. I couldn't help buying it. It was such a good nick. The roof looks fantastic. So was the roof like this as well? No, no. It was right. very dull. Uh, it lost its colour. It's a shame, really. He let the, he let the vinyl go. Right. Uh, so what I did, I went and got, bought a brand new uh, tin of boot polish. Boot polish? <laughs> yes. Don't go to all these car places and buy all this fancy stuff. Just get a tin of boot, boot polish, kiwi, because it's got more wax in it. Right. Get it on, let it dry, polish it, and she comes up the tree because it gets in all the little cracks and crannies. Because these roofs are not perfect. I mean, they've got little cracks in them and, and things, you know. Yeah. But the boot polish fills all that in. Right. Keeps the water out. Okay, yeah. it looks it looks fantastic. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah. And what about the actual bodywork as well? How do you keep that nice like this? When it's clean, just clear water. Right. Bucket clear water. Two bucket method? No, no, just the one. Uh, rub it all over with uh, a nice sponge. Yeah. Get get it the dust off my bike, yeah. basically dust, uh, and then a nice chamois all over with the chamois. She comes out like new. The it's chrome certain, and yeah. everything. It's certainly come up lovely. The chrome yeah. looks fantastic. Yeah. Let's have a look under the bonnet and see what we've got here. Yeah. Uh, V8, obviously, yep. uh, twin carb to feed each cylinder. Um, there's the air conditioning unit there. Right. Uh, oh, that freezes you in the car. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, you've got the brake reservoir there. Yep. That's front and back brakes. On these, you've got a dual, dual circuit. So that if your front brakes fail, you've got your rears or reverse, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't lose brakes right. unless something drastic happens. But, okay. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but apart from that, there's not a lot 
uh, to say about them. They're just fantastic engines. Yeah. Now, you've owned a lot of cars, so yeah. would you say driving a Rolls once you've driven one? <laughs> oh, yeah. Once you've driven one of these, you won't want to drive anything else. Right. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's give it a spin then, Bob. Yeah. So now we're inside the car, tell us about all the gadgets and gizmos this Rolls Royce has got. Um, well, obviously you've got air conditioning here, right? these levers, uh, and the cold air comes out yep. bottom and top. Um, you've got cassette player there, um, you've got a clock, you've got electric uh, aerial there, you've got lovely walnut finished dashboard. Yep. So you still play your tapes, do you? Oh, tapes, definitely. And what happens when they all got stuck inside the machine? Do you get your little pencil out and do the whole winding and back in again? Well, to be honest, <laughs> they never have. They've never had? No, right. okay. no, I've been fortunate there. Right. They? Is that the original radio? Yes. Right, okay. Yeah, Brilliant, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. And these knobs here are for hiring your seat, lowering it, or forward or back. All right. electrical. And it all works well still? Yeah, lovely. Can we have a demonstration? Yeah. There you go, Very mate. nice, yeah. And of course, the other nice thing about it is, is that everything in these cars is all chrome. Oh yes, you know it's like plastic knobs you get everywhere mm. else, is it? Oh no, no, no. That's what I love about it. It's there's a lot to clean, but it looks nice. Yeah, absolutely. That's, yeah, that's what we're yeah. Good. But what do the passengers get? They get any treats or not? Not really, I'm right, afraid. Okay. Yeah. But they've got mirrors on either side. Yeah. But they've all, they've got the comfort of a Rolls yes. Royce. Absolutely. You know? yeah. Okay. Got well. Rest here in the middle. Yeah. Oh yeah. Of course, yeah. these are nice that come out. Yeah. yeah. Nice little touch, isn't it? Yeah. Which is lovely as well. Nice big wide seats. Yeah. And uh, that's great. It's very very comfortable. So, yeah. uh, home, James. Let's go. Right, sir. So, Bob, what other cars have you owned? Uh, my very, very first car when I was 17 years of age was a 1928 Austin Chummy. Nice. I paid a fiver for it. Five quid? Five quid. <laughs> yeah, it was a week's wages then. Right. Because I'm 80 now. Um, I've, I've had a Ford 8. I've had Austin 8. I've had an Austin 10. Oh God, I've had uh, an Austin Cambridge. Um, so out of all the cars though, would you say that this Rolls Royce is your favourite? Oh definitely, definitely yeah. And yeah. how do you see the future of classics? What's in your mind? You've, you've, you know, oh. you've had a few, so... Yeah, um, well... How are we going to keep them on the road? What's, what's your well, thoughts? Well, the, the problem we've got now is with the fuel situation. Yeah. Um, so most, how much does this cost to fill up now at the moment? Uh, I filled this up, it cost me £140. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh, she wasn't quite empty, obviously, because I had to get her to the garage. But, um, but no, it's getting dearer and dearer. It, yeah. It's, it's um, pricing us out, um, us classic car owners. Yeah. Do, do you like um, the idea of electric classics, or no. is that not something oh, you like? No. no, I don't like the idea at all okay. of electric cars. Yeah. No, not at all. Not a classic electric. You wouldn't be. You'd be against that idea. Yeah, okay. definitely, definitely. So, a lot electric Rolls Royce wouldn't appeal. No, no. You heard it here not. first. No. No electric Rolls Royces, okay? No, no. So Bob says they have built one, a new one. But have they? I don't like it. More, yeah. You know, um, I only like the old classic Rolls. Yeah. Well, thanks ever so much, Bob. That was great. That's all right. Any time. Hang on a minute. What's that over there? Ah, that's my other surprise for you. It turns out that Bob is full of surprises. And as we got out the car and walked towards his driveway, it became apparent that he's bought something else rather special. Well, well, well. What have we here? This is my other classic. Join us next time down at the barns and we might just find out what's underneath Bob's car cover. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.